Hi, Steve. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sachita. I've been I've been in the course since the end of March, um, beginning of April, and um, these mastermind coaching calls um, aren't just a regular LSAT class, you know, where you come and expect lecture and stuff. Um, it is not. Um, we are here to support each other, um, you know, not, you know, through LSAT materials and um, everything else law school wise. Um, but um, I remember the first few sessions um, that, I, that I had and um, I was having a problem with reading comprehension and um, I, I, I asked a question in the class and to get support from Steve himself and everyone in the group. And I was so surprised to, you know, to get a lot of great feedbacks. Um, I remember one particular comment from um, one of our fellow students, Michonne. Um, she she advised me to read to read reading comprehension um, passages in my own voice, put a twist to it, make it more fun, um, so that you know it engages you and it makes it interesting for you to continue to read to the next paragraph. Um, and also, um, I, I always get um, invaluable um, knowledge from, from the sessions. Um, I remember another one particular session was a student asking how could she improve on logical reasoning? And um, I think our, our other friend, Annie, um, was saying that she does 10 minutes, uh, the first 10 questions of logical reasoning times. And with that knowledge, I took it as um, my own. Um, I know that I I wouldn't get to ten, I wouldn't get to ten questions in ten minutes. So instead of that, I I gave myself twelve minutes. Um, and then you know over time you can obviously um, decrease that time. But it was great advice. Um, and ever since I've been improving and looking forward to do logical reasoning timed um, than before. Um, the other really important is this, the new program that Steve had. Uh, that Steve has um, is the presentation. Uh, when I was presented with this opportunity to present in class, I took it with the heart. Um, I wrote my own game and um, my own logic game. Um, and with that, there was a lot of learning during the process. Um, so. Up to this point, I have done a ton of logic games um, and I wanted to learn more because I was having um, trouble with games that have only like two or three rules like and I wanted to learn that for my own. So I decided to write a game with um, not a lot of rules um, and it was so cool to um, be able to write it and share it with the class and get great feedbacks from everyone. Um, have everyone diagramming uh, my game and just give me, um, you know, like how, how should I word this, the, the questions better, like clearer, um, how would I change the game scenario um, to make the diagramming a little bit easier to diagram. And that with that, I learned from a test maker perspective um, is that there's only so many questions that can be derived from the rules and the game scenario. And, you know, when we go into do logic games, we get this intimidation of like, oh my God, you don't know what, what questions they're gonna throw at you. Um, you get, you get, you know, you get so intimidated. But when you write your own games, I was having a hard time coming up with the fifth question. And that was really, that, that was a really good, like that was a turning point for me. Um, I developed a different relationship with logic games is that, as long as you get the game, uh, the game scenario, the rules down and understand and make all the inferences as many as you can, um, the questions will just work around it. Um, so that was, that was a turning point for me with logic games. And um, I think with that now, like doing it timed, I'm not intimidated because as long as I get the games, the games down, the rules, um, I can be able to attack it. So. Um, I encourage you all to take this uh, presentation opportunity to reach your fullest potential. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best 
and take care.